you on the database, you lose more people than you do. Have you noticed that? Oh! That is the camera for us? Yeah. Oh, we gotta start over. <laughs> <laughs> my look, I would. There'd be a new game for <laughs> 900,000 and I beat the dog. <laughs> but now this is a new game. Yeah. So now I don't necessarily win. Uh, <laughs> the other game I was gonna win, you can see. I already had a huge advantage on move two. Now he's doing something different. <laughs> it's not fair. No, I had time it's to think about it. Man. I don't know, we gotta say. Yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> I was going to prove it to you. No, I, did I know that you were going to do that, though? Yeah, let me ask you that. Did I know? You thought I'd do that? I knew you'd do that. I didn't think you'd do that. I knew you would do that. You think you know me, don't you? Well, I kind of do. What are you doing here? Yeah. You're stepping into my parlor, Duck. You are stepping into my parlor, man. Don't you realize that? Make a mistake here. I almost never make mistakes, uh, but you did. Oh shit, Jeff. That's a bad move, man. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to play it out. Going for the gold. Yeah, 
I'm going to offer, I will offer a draw here. This is a kind offer, very kind. What? That's it? That's all. Nothing much. Check. Take it. Come on. Did you say come on? The check doesn't mean anything, does it? Not much. Brian here and what a super suspenseful game between these two man oh how many of you thought that Dave would just Dave out and lose on time I mean Doug just it was a brilliant defense by Duck he turtled up he created a huge fortress and when he noticed that Dave had little time left he went on the attack because you know when you attack your opponent it's gonna burn their time for defense but Dave just found the clutch mate at the end there nicely done and as you guys saw in the beginning of the video it was super windy and knocked over the tripod so 
there was a little bit of dispute of where the rook was, whether it was on a6 or a8, but um, Duck was gracious enough to let that go, and because it would have been mate no matter where the rook was, but um, yeah, the wind just kind of knocked the rook over, flipped the board a little bit at the end, but what a what a fantastic game between these two, man, fantastic, and if you are a long time coffee chess fan especially if you've seen the most suspenseful um game in coffee chess history that video between dave and carlini you will super <laughs> appreciate the richness of this game and all the history that kind of went into this so great game by both man if you want to get brooklyn dave a cup of coffee for this kind of um moby dick i guess captain ahab win uh, you know his link is in the video description i haven't read the book uh, moby dick you know but the theme is right captain ahab is as hunting the whale you know his whole life and i don't i honestly don't know how the book ends whether he gets the whale or not but <laughs> in 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 this game um dave finally got his victory over duck nicely done and um oh, we're gonna go over in the analysis um a couple missed um opportunities for for black to mate white and to be honest it was very very difficult it's it's really difficult to see these mates just because duck just created a really great fortress like how are you supposed to penetrate it man you know and and the positions are kind of random and weird so it's very hard to kind of impose known mating patterns on there but we're going to go over some some really cool mates that i think you guys will enjoy so let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below um and check out all the other cool links there um amazon links to chess gear merch links and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos all right and it's really cool to see dave win on time just because time has been dave's achilles heel um and you know being clutch on time is, is not his strong suit but he has been getting better at that so nicely done all right, let's go here in this position, and we saw the beginning of the oh crap move right here. We saw the nice a fork here, taking advantage of the pin. It's so going back here. Maybe another move for white is just get the uh, queen out instead of moving the king up. But let's go over the missed mates. This is pretty cool. In this position, we had rook check. Let's go move back. Pause video. Find the mate for black here. Alright, the reason why these are difficult to see is they're not forcing mates. So you have to set up the forced mate. So you play bishop takes c3. Cutting off the escape square of this pawn, cutting off the escape square as well as this king. And guess what? Wait, but you're sacrificing your queen. Oh no. Rook takes queen. What do you do? Yes. Rook check and mate. So going back here, you can't take the queen. You gotta play rook e4 to swing it over for defense, but doesn't really matter because of queen b6 taking advantage of the pin here and nothing really white can do to stop it let's go here in this position and in the game queen e1 was played let's go move back pause video will be another move for black here yes again bishop takes c3 check doesn't if the king goes to either a, um, a2 or a3 it's just going to be mate it's so going back here you got to take it and queen check knight block queen check and if here then mate so going back here i mean b4 will be mate anyways so that is another uh mate there and man i love how duck went on the offensive here man this is that's what you gotta do, man. When you when you realize your opponents are running low on time, you gotta counterattack, go on the offensive, make them burn time. And um, let's go here in this position in the game. Queen takes this play. Let's go move back. Will be another move for Black here. Yes, Black Rook check. Holy smokes! And King takes Queen check. If King a one, then this is mate. Going back here. If, oops, sorry. If uh, king a3, then take and set up mate. And you can only delay the inevitable here, and this will be mate. So some missed mates there, but very, very hard to see. But what a super suspenseful game, man. If you guys are a long-time Coffee Just fan, you really, really appreciated this game because you kind of know the history between each, you know, behind each player and and um you know especially if you've seen dave's most suspenseful game in coffee chess history his kind of achilles heel of losing on time ducks beautiful 
defensive capabilities and counterattacking capabilities and winning on time, the blitz strategies that Duck has. A very, very fantastic matchup. And I hope you guys were on the edge of your seat because I was as well, man. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.